The Environment Minister Collins Nzovu has requested the African Development Bank ADB to lift suspension on the financing of the construction of the fish market and landing jetty in Bulungu district. Mr Nzovu also says his ministry has facilitated the clearance of the environmental impact statement report with the Zambia Environmental Management Agency Zima for the projects. Here's a report by Wilson Melinda. The Lake Tanganyika Development Project, which is supported by the African Development Bank through a loan of over $22 million and the global environment, is a strategic project for government designed in a multi-sectoral nature to contribute to sustainable economic growth and reduce poverty in Zambia. The project has facilitated the development of socio-economic infrastructure to support the well-being of the people of Mpulungu and Sama district. However, several projects have stalled due to various issues. Yet we do not have a classroom. I am on my knees. This came to light when Green Economy and Environment Minister Colin Zinzovu paid a courtesy call on his counterpart of Northern Province, Leonard Mbao. The Ministry has since facilitated the clearance of the EIA with Zima and requested the African Development Bank to lift the suspension on the financing of the construction of the ship, of fish market and jet in Purungu district. This is the way we should go. Any roadblocks, really, I'm here to ensure that we listen to yourselves and see how we can quickly complete this project. I must uh, uh, sincerely uh, commend uh, the project and your ministry uh, for the good work that has been done on the ground. Uh, I have taken time myself to visit one or two uh, sites where uh, the project is taking place and uh, it's a marvel. The two ministers then proceeded to Mpulungu to check progress made under the project. While there, Senior Chief Tafuna of the Lungu-speaking people briefed the ministers of what has affected the completion of these projects. The coordinator from Lake Tanganyika Development wanted us to do the right, the right thing, but unfortunately the past regime took the other route, which was contrary to our values. I was forced to write to African Development Bank to rescind the decision of funding the fish markets. And I'm right informed that everything is on course and we will build a fish market very, very soon. Mr. Nzovu had this to say in response. We depend on you as we have been depending on you all these years. In particular, I do not want to forget the, the help you have rendered to, the, to this project. I'm aware you personally came in to resolve the land issues. This was very, very important because it was going to derail the project. The Lake Tanganyika development project is set to be completed by 2022, and Mr. Nzovu has since called for consolidated partnerships to achieve positive results. Wilson Mulinda, ZNBC News, Mpulungu District, Northern Province. You're watching the main news on ZNBC TV. We take our first commercial break. We'll be right back.